We head overseas now. Two days after the war started, Israel has ordered a complete siege of the Gaza Strip where civilians and soldiers are being held hostage. Scholar Henry has the latest from Washington. Israel says it has largely regained control of its border communities as it pounds the Gaza Strip with retaliatory strikes for Saturday's bloody attack. Israel's defense minister says no food water or fuel will be allowed into Gaza, where Hamas is holding dozens of hostages, by some estimates more than 100, and is threatening to begin executions. Among the captives is an 85-year-old grandmother who was paraded through the streets of Gaza. I'm sure she's uh, very scared, and I'm sure she feels very alone. The U.S. State Department now believes Americans may be among the hostages. Just given the sheer numbers involved, we do expect that there may well be Americans uh, who have been caught up in, in the hostage taking as well. In addition to those missing, U.S. officials confirm at least nine Americans were killed in the attack. President Biden said all countries must stand united against the atrocities. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham says Iran was complicit and that Israel must strike back. No more proportional response. The goal of the Israeli military should be to destroy Hamas in Gaza. America's most advanced aircraft carrier is moving towards the region as Israel confronts shock and grief. This man was at a music festival where more than 100 died. They didn't care if you're a man or a woman, you're a young or old man. They're killers, they're murderers. What they did is never be, can be forgiven. Even as the death toll in Gaza rises into the hundreds, Hamas continues firing rockets over the border. And Israel called up hundreds of thousands of reservists, preparing for the next stage of war. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. The European Union says that it is suspending aid to Palestinians in light of the terror and brutality of the attacks from Hamas.